show you today. It's a wirelessly controlled well, AC switch basically. Let me show you it. It's designed to fit inside your standard outlet box so it can fit behind a switch or an outlet. And we have inputs the neutral hot and hot and neutral. Also allows you to attach to a switch. So so there's a digital input, there's 3.3 volt pull up on one side, and the switch is grounded. The wireless part is AMRF 24J40MA transceiver, 2.4 gigahertz. And the power supply is, um, was made from one of these little power converter cubes, 5 volts for, you know, USB charging. This is the internals wrapped in some tape glued to the top. This is the lowest profile power supply I could get. Now on the bottom side of this, show you real quick. We have the bottom chip there is a Triac 15 amps, I think 600 volts. This It's all covered in glue, so nothing gets shorted. Anyway, I'll just go over it all. This is a track opto coupler. That's what turns this on and off from the pick. This is a pick 24HJ G HJ12 GP202. So that's um, and then there's the programming headers. There's um, a UART right there. UART output. That's 3.3 volt level. Then this is um, a the pick doesn't have enough current to drive the LED directly. So we have a or 3904 transistor NPN to power the LED for the Triac opto coupler. Then there's a 3.3 volt power regulator on this side with a 1UF stabilizing capacitor. And then for the MRF24, um, it needs a pull up resistor. I could have programmed it into the pick itself, but I put it on the schematic anyway. It's this one here. For the SDO, it's open drain, so it needs a pull up. Anyway, so that's all the parts on the bottom of the board. So essentially, we still have the switch, which is capable of going on and turning on and off the light. And now, let me just show you. So you would put this board behind this the switch in the box in the wall. And for the light. Now, right now, it's only capable of doing single switch outlets. If you have a multi switch outlet, it will not function properly. The second version will. It also does not have any detection for when the AC coming in is zero crossing, so it's not capable of dimming the bulb. The next version I make of this board will. I wrote a quick py some quick Python code to allow me to access this box. This just has another MRF24J40MA in it for communicating with the one here. It's attached to my computer. This console here is the first way to do it. So we got this console here. I wrote some Python because screen apparently does not take 500 kilobits per second as an option. So I can say hello to the device anyway. So uh, it's just programmed to send commands over the MRF24 by using command. Then we use the address of the MRF24 here, the controller. This one I set to 3DC1 and if I want to turn it on, I type on, enter, comes on. I can also do 3DC1 off. Some other features, command 3DC1, I can disable the switch with that command. As you can see, switch no longer functions. Turn the switch back on. We have the switch functions again, so you can disable the switch. There's also one more interesting feature that's programmed into it. I call it spooky mode, but it's just a pseudo random generator that flips on and off the light. Hopefully creeping someone out if you install it in their outlet and turn it on at night after they've watched a horror movie or something. <laughs> and back off, spooky, no. So that's pretty much all the features. Next thing I want to show you is the web interface for controlling it. 
This way you can access it from a phone to control it anywhere in the world pretty much. Or if you want the web server on the local Wi-Fi, you can also just control it from home. Alright, so this is the web interface for the outlet controller. This is an MJPEG stream coming from the camera. It's using MJPEG stream. Uh, you can Google that software. It works very well. It's the best thing for low delay video. There's some cool animations going on. It's kind of got a Star Trek theme. Anyway, so this is on my website. How this works is these use jQuery git calls to request a PHP script on my home server here, which then executes a Python script, which has to be in the dialout group, the www-data, so it has access to the serial ports, so it can send the commands over the MRF24. So let me show you how it works. We got on, off. Off, light goes off. You see very short delay. I know I'm home here, but MJPEG really does have a great real-time feedback. Back on, there's the light, back on. So you also have the enable and disable switches, which I'm not going to show you right now. So yeah, it's got that kick-ass interface. So this is how you control the outlet from the website. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install it into an actual light switch. This is the single switch for my workroom. Alright, it's on, off. i got to work right here to keep everything lit. I'm going to show you how we install it. So I just need a simple flathead screwdriver for most of the work. I think all of it, probably. First, you to have to remove the front plate of the light switch. Next, we have to remove the switch, and you'll notice this is live. Just wearing some blue nitrile gloves. They're enough to stop 120 volts, so I'll get shocked. You can switch it off if you're really concerned, but nothing is going to happen. So this is a single switch outlet. You'll see it's got a safety ground here. And then we got the hot running through here. So first thing we have to do is figure out which side the light is on. We gotta remove the switch. A bit tricky. Oops. This off this side. So this is my voltmeter. Red guy. 200 volts AC. So this is 120 here. That's good enough. So let me see if I can put this where you can see it from the camera. I'm going to check from safety around each of the black wires. Nothing here. So zero. This guy, 120 volts. So the top guy is the incoming power. I'm also going to need to get the neutral wires out. The white guy's here. I'm going to unclip this. So it actually doesn't matter which way they go in because they're just shorted together on the board. Now neutral is the second one down, you can see it's shorted across. So incoming neutral, I used flatter wires, so I'm going to unscrew this a little bit. Okay, so if you can see that, neutral hot. Now for the other side, fortunately there's not a lot of excess wire left here. Down, even though there's a little bit sticking out, it shouldn't be enough. Too short, too unusual. <laughs> this thing is on. That's very unusual. Track is on. That means this should switch it off though. Oh. I did not realize this, but apparently I programmed the fault on. Install these wires first here, and then I push it back. This is light gauge wire for the digital switch input. We're going to have to push this back into the slot. So there's enough room for the switch. We have to attach the switch. So blue wires need to be tightened down here. Okay. Yes. So 
squeeze those back in there and we reattach the screws. And before I well, let's test the switch real quick. Okay, as you can see, the switch is functioning, so we know the pick is controlled. So I'll start screwing this top one. And the minus bottom one I've screwed in. Been 11 minutes so far. So if you can probably if you can get 15 minutes alone with the switcher out that you want to mess with, you can get this installed. And if you have lots of practice, you can probably do it a lot faster. I this is the first time I've installed this in and out with, so hopefully with a little practice you could probably do this in three to five minutes. Nitro gloves, didn't shock myself at all. And the switch functions. Unfortunately I can't really do spooky mode with these fluorescent lights because they take so long to power up. So we start by bringing up Python console and command uh, 3 DC1 on. Oh, I'm already on. Off. So that turned off the light. I controlled it from my computer back on. Took a second because it's fluorescent. Now let me do the switch disabled. Switch disabled. Now let me show you real quick. We got light here. Switch. Doesn't do anything. Now the switch is re-enabled. And then I can control the light from over here. There we go. Switch it works. So I can control from here or I can control go to my desk or I can open my phone or I can be in China on a web browser and I can issue a command over the internet and turn the light off 